FL, we'll go over these notes. Just like the previous notes, you're going to want to have these written down. Dane. All right? Dane. Now, Dane, just give her a piece of paper, please. There's a couple rules I'd like you guys to remember. A couple truths I would say that under our understanding of logarithms, everybody, including Shelby, should be able to look up here and agree with me that when we're talking about a logarithm, this logarithm says, actually, I don't, I don't know why I gave you guys the answers, but this logarithm says 3 raised to what number is 1? Well, the answer is 0, correct? 3 raised to what number is 3? The answer is 1. This logarithm, 3 raised to what number is 9? We know the answer is 2. Does everybody agree with me those log those evaluating those logarithms right there. Right? Yes? Yeah, I mean, 3 to the what power is 9? Well, we know the answer is 2. Right? Agreed. Everybody knows those to be true. OK. So there's a couple rules that we are taught in Algebra 2, but we're going to go back over them. The first rule is the product rule. And basically, the product rule states that if you have a logarithm for any base, that means it could even be a natural logarithm, of a value um, plus the logarithm of the same base of b, well, then that's equal to one single logarithm of that same base of the product of a and b. Okay. Ah, actually, crap. Well, I'm going to write it the other way. It doesn't really matter how you write it. I just want to write it this way for, I'll show you, log base b of a times b. We're going to expand it, and I'll show you why. Just because the way that I'm going to teach it, yeah, because we're going to start, we're going to start um, today's lesson with expanding, so this would make more sense that way. All right, now I'd like to give you guys an example of why this makes sense. Because a lot of students usually memorize this, and they say, OK, yeah, we know that, right? But let's go ahead and start with a problem we know. Log base 3 of 9. We don't need to write the answer. You guys agree with me. We know that answer is 2, right? I could also rewrite that as log base 3 of 3 times 3, correct? Right? Now, if we follow the rule here, we know the answer is 2. We know the answer there is 2. But if we follow this process, the log of the product of two terms is equal to log base 3 of 3 plus log base 3 of 3. Well, what's log base 3 of 3? We said that answer was 1. one. So that's 1 plus 1, which equals 2. Oh, I'm not going to erase it. So it works. It works, right? So you guys agree. So therefore, I can give you variables and just say, hey, expand this. And you would understand that if they're separated by a product, you can rewrite them as two different logarithms. So let's go to the quotient rule. All right? So now if I go to the quotient rule, the quotient rule basically states if you have a logarithm, base b of a over b, you, we can rewrite that as two logarithms of the same base, or the difference of two logarithms with the same base of a minus b, or log of a minus log of b. Right? Again, let's do an example. So if I did an example here. I know that log base 3 of 3 is equal to 1, right? Everybody agrees with me. But I could rewrite this in a different way. I could rewrite this as log base 3 of 3 over 3. Oops, I'm sorry, wait. There you go. We want that to be 1, sorry. We know that log base 3 of 1 is 0, right? 
Well, could I rewrite 1 as 3 divided by 3? Okay. So if I've now written my logarithm as the quotient of two numbers here, I know that I'm going to have to break it down into log base 3 of 3 minus the log base 3 of 3 of the numerator and the denominator, right? You break the log into that, and then you minus that. So let's do that. So I get log base b, I'm sorry, log of 3 of 3 minus log of 3 of 3. Well, log base 3 of 3 is equal to 1 minus 1, which is 0, which we knew the other answer. We already knew, we already knew that was going to be the case. We knew that 3 raised to what number was uh, 1 was, had to be 0. But I just want you to show by expanding them, we're just writing them in a different format. I'm not changing the answer. I'm just rewriting the whole expression. And the last one is what we call the power rule. And the power rule goes like this. If you have log base b of a raised to the b, then that is equivalent to b times log base, uh, let's do, sorry, I don't want to confuse variables. So if you have log base b of a raised to the c, that's equal to c times log base b of a. Okay. So again, let's try another one. Example, log base 3 of 9. We know that answer is 2, correct? Now, can I rewrite 9 as 3 squared? Of course I can. Right? Now, based on this rule, if I have a term raised to a power, I can put the power in front as a product. Then, what's log base 3 of 3? So do you guys see from the beginning we knew what our answer was? And even by expanding them and evaluating, we figure out our answer. Do you guys want me to do like a simple problem or an easy problem? 